Welcome back. You're watching Startup Central with me, Nantar Rai, working from my home in New Delhi. Well, uh, what we are seeing is massive uh, fundraise by the startups over the last couple of days. And uh, the latest one, Unacademy. Its valuation has jumped by $550 million. It's a startup, an edtech startup that became a unicorn only recently. And now its valuation has hit $2 billion. That's after the new fundraise it has announced with Tiger Global as well as Dragonair. I'm being joined by one of the co-founders, Himesh Singh. He's co-founder and CTO at Unacademy. Himesh, first up, congratulations. Thank you for giving us this live interview minutes after the press release. Uh, how does it feel? A couple of months ago, you became a unicorn. Now suddenly your valuation has jumped to two billion dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's obviously a great milestone for us to achieve. Uh, you know, something that has been in making for a very long time now. Uh, but yeah, definitely feels great to finally, you know, uh, reach this uh, milestone. So can I ask you that uh, when you all started an academy, I believe you and Gaurav have, uh, you know, been together for seven years. Gaurav Bunjal and you have been together for seven years, and of course, Romain joined and all of that. Uh, did you guys dream that an academy was going to get to be so big so fast? It's uh, the ambition was always, you know, really big to actually make a difference, you know, in the uh, society to actually make something meaningful. Uh, will we be able to achieve it? I think uh, that is always a question. You know, we can only work towards it. And uh, I think it's great to really see this uh, milestone to really get this sort of validation that, you know, we are on the right path and uh, we have some amazing people to support us on this journey. Uh, I think to answer your question, I think the ambition was always sort of there, uh, but uh, will we be able to redo this? I think uh, <laughs> that is something which is, uh, which wasn't, I would say it was very clear. The path wasn't very clear, but I think we've come a long way from there. So, you know, I understand Tiger Global and Dragoneer have participated in the new fundraise. How big is this uh, fundraise? So we are actually not disclosing the amount uh, that we have raised. I think uh, uh, for uh, all sort of purposes, we are planning to uh, keep it confidential. Uh, but we are announcing the fundraise and the valuation that we have hit, which is uh, almost two billion. Himesh, I've got to ask you this one question. You've hit a valuation of $2 billion. You became a unicorn during COVID-19. EdTech is, of course, the buzzword uh, thanks to Corona. And to be fair to Unacademy, it also changed its business model, came out with new products, even made acquisitions uh, to be more relevant than ever. Uh, what can we expect going forward? What are you going to do with all of this moolah you've been raising? You hit a valuation of $1.45 billion just recently. And now it's $2 billion. You're obviously raking in millions of dollars. What are you going to do with all of this money? Um, I think it's, it's we are still in very early phase of, you know, what is possible, the opportunity that we have in front of us, which is absolutely humongous. And uh, there, there is a lot of investment that is yet to be made in building products, in providing, you know, the best features that we can for our uh, learners, for our educators, and actually building... Uh, an ecosystem and a sustainable business for ourselves. So I think uh, I think there is a lot of uh, there is a long path ahead of us, and this is only the beginning. And uh, it's great to see the validation, but uh, uh, the, the investment, the money that we have raised, uh, I think is going to go in all sorts of things. Uh, the stuff that we've been doing, but of course more of the same. A uh, lot of product development to happen. A uh, lot of investment in content, in getting the best educators, uh, making sure you know our learners and educators have the best experience, and an academy is the best sort of choice for them uh, to learn everything that they want to do. You know that is one of the things that a lot of experts, investors, uh, stakeholders say that one of the reasons an academy works so beautifully and works so well is because uh, on one hand it is educating those that go on an academy but it is also giving such a free hand to the teachers it is also uh, empowering them and it's not saying you work exclusively with 
us. So clearly, you know, you're building that community and that's why you have maybe some of the best educators also on the platform. But can you give us an idea that uh, how the subscriber levels have jumped in the recent times? Absolutely. So <clears throat> to uh, sort of extend a little bit on the topic that you mentioned, our mission is, and this, this has been from the day one, our mission has been to democratize education really. And, you know, give, create the best tools for the educator, create the best platform for learners as well as educators. And uh, I think we are, we are, uh, we have been able to see some sort of success in that and I think we believe that we are on the right path by you know uh, providing all these uh, products and all these uh, platforms that we have built for our users. Uh, to answer your question about the growth that we've seen, uh, I think that has been most of you know more or less industry wide uh, because of the COVID, uh, because of the entire lockdown and the current situation, uh, more and more learners are preferring to study from their homes using their smartphones, using their PC devices and so on and so forth. And the same goes with the educators. Um, because a lot of, uh, you know, offline um, uh, sort of coaching centers are shut, a lot of uh, educators are looking for, you know, new ways to uh, create, generate income and new ways to teach, new ways to reach out to more learners and educate them. So. Uh, given the way our platform works, given the investments that we have made in the technology, in the products, and so on, in the past, uh, it has it is basically an academy is becoming the most preferred way of uh, learning as well as teaching for our users. Was this a planned fundraise, or is it a you know did you want to go in for this fundraise? Was it scheduled, or was it more of a case of investors? Uh, telling an, an academy that, you know, let us in, give us a piece of the action, you're an inflection point, which made you then reconsider? Uh, to be honest, uh, the conversations were going on for a while. Uh, we, we've been in touch with both of the investors for a, a, a good amount of time now. Uh, the conversations were going on. Uh, it's just that uh, it materialized now for whatever reasons. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, but yeah, it, it, it has been a long sort of a, a discussion, which just happened to materialize and it makes us look, <laughs> uh, as, you know, in this light where we have uh, two very, uh, two uh, fundraisers which are very close. Hmm. Okay. Can I, uh, before I let you go, I know I was only supposed to ask three to four questions, but you know, not every day you get to interview a startup, which, uh, has seen his valuation jump by $550 million in just a couple of weeks. How, how did that big valuation jump happen so quickly and so fast? You had just, just recently, you know, people like SoftBank, Vision Fund putting in big bucks. What has changed in the last couple of weeks that your valuation has jumped by $550 million? Uh, I think uh, it is always, uh, I think it's more of a validation that we have from our investors. They see the platform that we have built, they see the products that we are building, they see how the uh, an academy experience is for our educators and learners. And uh, uh, there is nothing, I would say, that drastically changed within these weeks. But of course, uh, you know, we are constantly investing in making our products better, making our platform better, making our uh, experience uh, improving our experience uh, for our, both our learners and as well as educators. So uh, I think they, they see that uh, investment happening and uh, you know that those investments have been long in the making, you know, uh, the products that we have currently, we've been working on those for a very long time. So uh, to answer your question, I think uh, it's not something, you know, it's not an event uh, per se that happened. It's just that uh, the investors see that value and which is why they are able, uh, they are uh, sort of ready to uh, give us that valuation. Okay, before I let you go, I want to ask you this in these times of Corona and social distancing, how are you and your co-founders Gara, Roman and the full Unacademy team celebrating tonight? <laughs> Uh, we are not very celebratory kind, to be honest. I think we'll probably have a few uh, a few Zoom calls, and uh, we'll be everybody would be celebrating from their homes. Uh, of course, you know, not a lot of people are coming to office, <laughs> even though I am in office. 
so i think it will be you know a zoom call party mm. i guess <laughs> i just wanted to ask that because i've always wondered how they do it uh, Himesh, uh, thank you so much for joining us here live on uh, Startup Central. Congratulations once again. Look at the marquee investors that uh, uh, now you, uh, an academy has. Um, Tiger Global, Dragoneer, before this it already had SoftBank Vision Fund, Sequoia Capital, Elevation Capital, Facebook, the list goes on and on. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here live. Uh, all the very best to you. and the Thank entire. you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Well, there you go. That's uh, an academy for you. The big uh, news that has uh, broken just a few minutes back. And ET now the only one with an academy live and uh, the only one with an interview with an academy. But there's a lot else to talk about in the startup universe. It's time now for Startup Central Farafat, and we do this in Farafat style. Sequoia's accelerator program Surge has selected 17 startups based out of India, Singapore, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Australia. 16 week long program that's currently underway comprises startups from various segments be it edtech, fintech, health tech, B2B marketplace, logistics. Uh, an interesting cohort will be getting the, uh, we will be featuring those startups over the weeks right here on Startup Central. TRAI has imposed a 30 crore rupee penalty on the state run Talco BSNL for failing to curb cyber criminals from duping users of digital payments apps. Vodafone Idea has been fined just shy of 2 crore rupees, Airtel 1.33 crore rupees. In all, 8 telcos including Jio have been fined 30 crore rupees in total. The rhetoric around trade war may have eased after Joe Biden's victory in the US but the stance remains the same. Chinese tech company ZT continues to face the heat. The Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, has rejected its petition to remove the designation of a national security threat. China reacts to India's decision to ban more Chinese apps citing national security. Beijing says it resolutely opposes the ban and accuses India of violating WTO rules. A California jury indicts Apple's head of global security, Thomas Moyer, for bribery. He's accused of offering 200 iPads to Santa County's Sheriff Office in exchange for concealed carry permits for Apple employees. Moira maintains innocence and Apple is backing him to the hilt. Signs of things to come in future in the fight against fake news and misinformation. YouTube suspends right-wing outlet One America News Network for promoting fake COVID-19 cures. The channel is online, but it won't be allowed to post videos for a week. Well, with that, we're going to take a short commercial break, uh, but stay tuned. Uh, on the other side, we'll get to Karan Mola of Chirate Partners to talk about the new trend on Startup Street, consolidation and M&As.